everyone, it's Georgia and welcome to today's video which is going to be a favourites video. I have not done one of these in the longest time and I just realised that I had a few products that I was really, really loving and I thought it was worth making a video about to share with you guys. So I've got some makeup, some like accessories and stuff so... Without further ado, let's jump in and get started with this video. I'm going to start with like the biggest thing here beside me, which is my handbag. This is what it looks like. It's a really long shoulder bag and it's just black with gold detailing and it looks like this. It's from Sports Girl and I got it in September last year. I haven't seen it in stores since, so I don't know if they still sell it, but check it out if you do want to um, see if they still have this bag but it's just so cute and I'm just in love with like the design of it and everything it's just got one big compartment that has like this little jawstring and then a little front pocket and I think it is the cutest bag ever I may as well just keep going with the accessories um but the next one is this necklace which is gonna be incredibly hard to show you I have no clue if you can see this or not, but it's just this really pretty um, necklace that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. He went to the Europe at the end of last year, so he got it over there, and it is like seriously the most beautiful thing ever. I'm so in love with it because it's so beautiful, I can't really wear it on like an everyday basis, but like... I get so excited at the thought of wearing this, like if I go out somewhere nice enough to wear it or if I'm like going to a special event or something, this is like the first thing that I think of wearing. So I'm in love with it. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Now I'm going to go on to like skincare type stuff and the first one is my secret for my bronze skin this summer. You'd be surprised that I actually haven't tanned very often this um, summer which is very surprising for me because I'm a massive tanner but I'm also a very big natural tanner like I can go outside for 10 minutes and I'll be black and so I sort of just embraced my natural tan um, this summer but seeming as though it's getting cooler I'll probably be like picking up my tanning game again but this has worked wonders for me this is the reef dry sun tan oil it's got 30 plus spf in it which is awesome because i do have ones that like don't have any in them or whatever um but this one is like their highest spf um product and i love it it just makes me nice and black and nice and tanned and i love it and I've been using it heaps. The last skincare item I have to show you is the Sukin Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. I was struggling for a little while to find a skincare product that didn't make me like break out or didn't like affect my skin in any way, um, but something that kept my skin really, really nourished. And this is the product that does that. It's such a nice oil and it's really kind on your skin and it really does make your skin feel super refreshed and nourished and in the morning you can still feel its effects which is awesome and I'm obsessed with this. I've said obsessed too many times in this video. I'm so sorry. But holy cow this product is amazing. It looks like this if you want to pick it up. Um, I get mine from Chemist Warehouse. Um, I think that's where they're the cheapest but Oh boy, this product is beautiful. Now moving on to beauty products. And I don't know how long ago I shared this with you guys, but I have today with me my favorite foundation of all time. And I've literally been, I was going to say obsessed, literally been drooling over it. <laughs> and it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This one's in the shade Golden Natural. Um, I have... A shade from every line I think um, so I can always use this foundation no matter what color my skin is but because I've been so dark um, this is like the darkest one I have so I've been able to use it which is awesome funnily enough not wearing it on my skin today did not think about that it is such a beautiful foundation it's incredibly lightweight I use this on a regular like daily basis and then just build it up depending on what I'm doing um, so I'll like build it up a little bit more if I'm going out or if it's for daytime 
um, I'll put like a lighter thinner layer on feels like you're not wearing anything at all it's nice and dewy it's not too dewy that you're like oh my god you look oily but it's just a beautiful foundation and I couldn't recommend it enough if you haven't tried it out I definitely recommend trying it out because you may be surprised this may become your new favorite foundation because I put off buying this for ages and when I finally did I realized it was the bomb. Next product I have are actually on my eyeballs right now and they are the Ardell Glamour Lashes. These are the 105s and I have been obsessed with wearing um, fake eyelashes recently and these ones in particular I love really dramatic eyes as you can probably tell and these lashes do just that. They are so nice. I haven't been able to get my hands on Demi Wispies but I am trying to track them down and I'm determined to get them in my hands in the next month. So bear with me because I feel like from looking at them they're going to be my favourites. But so far these ones have been rocking my socks. I don't know if you guys can even see the lashes but they are so nice and long and I love them. I'm just really obsessed with having nice long lashes so... These have worked wonders. I literally don't use any other eyelash brand other than Ardell because these have just been amazing every single time. And the last makeup favorite I have to show you guys is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. This is my holy grail mascara. I have been in love with it ever since I first tried it. I've also gotten a lot of questions about like my eyelashes whenever I'm using this mascara and people are always asking what mascara I use. So this is like my little gem. It separates your lashes so nicely and makes them incredibly long. I have never had a mascara that's worked so well on my eyes before so if you're looking for a new mascara I definitely recommend checking this out because this is just my favorite mascara of all time. I love it and hopefully you will too. And now I thought I'd go back to like the old school days and tell you guys like my favorite like TV shows and also my favorite like songs and stuff of the month. Now these probably aren't like just came out this month or anything but these are the things that I have been loving. So for TV shows I have been obsessed with watch- I said obsessed. I have been re-watching the Friends series and I know that's like super duper old but I have been going back from the very first episode and watching them. I'm currently up to season seven and holy cow I am in love with friends. I've always loved friends but it's just one of those really nice shows that you can just chill out and watch as many times as you want and it never gets old. Then for songs I'm definitely gonna have to say my song of the month is Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran. If you know me you know I'm a massive Ed Sheeran fan. I love him so incredibly much and as soon as that song came out I just I got this like sensation in my body and I was like this is like my anthem and I just played it religiously since then. It's always on in my car, it's always on in my room. I play it before I go to bed, I play it when I wake up. I'm just obsessed with that song. So go and check it out if you haven't already. Oh my god, I just realized his album comes out in two days. It is Wednesday, comes out Friday. That is too much for my brain right now. That just made me really excited for Friday. So thank you all for watching this favorites video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thumbs up if you did. And let me know if you guys want to see like more favorites videos in the future. Um, I definitely can't say I'm going to do them every month because generally I don't have enough products to share with you guys. But when I do, if you guys would like to continue seeing them, just let me know. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.